welcome back to another video and today we are going to be doing the long awaited Neymar tutorial so I'm going to put the poster on the screen now so I hope you guys can see it if you can I hope you are looking forward to this tutorial um, I promised it a while ago but I got logged down with work and uni stuff so I just couldn't do the tutorial so basically I'm bringing it to you guys now uh, hopefully you still want it and thank you for all the support on the Instagram you guys have been liking the images and everything the links are in the description if you want to follow as well uh, but yeah it's all been great thank you for all the support on the subscriptions and everything hope you're looking forward to the video let's get straight into it Welcome back guys, uh, just to begin with I'm going to give you the canvas sizes, so we're going to be using an A4 document this time, so it's just going to be 21 centimeters by 29.7, that is standard for all A4 documents across the country, so if you click OK with that and then you'll get your white background. Now the first thing you want to do is make sure that your color is black and then we're going to change the white to a, like a dark grey, so something like that, and then what you're going to do is come down to new layer and then what you're going to do is go to filter render and then clouds so now we've got this lovely like nice dark image so what we're going to do now is go to liquify so you guys have probably seen this in previous videos uh, but basically all we're just going to do is create this nice dark background like of shapes and stuff which will look really nice on a background for us so if you just all you have to do is hold down drag and then swerve around make some nice patterns and once you're happy with it now uh, once you're happy with it you can obviously move on you can use different tools as well if you want so I'm gonna have something like that I think that looks nice uh, yeah so just click OK so we've got our background now what we're gonna do is change this to a to our like to make this our main background so I'm just gonna convert that to a smart object so that's good that's going to keep all the texture in. So the next thing we're going to do is add a gradient map. So if you want to go down to your adjustments panel and then click that and then go gradient map. Now what you're going to need to do is change the color. So I've got one that's pre-made already. So you can see this one. So that looks quite cool. Uh, you can already see that it looks really good on the color. So if you want it, it to be more red and less black, so something like that, which is probably what I'm going to use for this. Um, uh, you just want to make sure that you uh, position your color in the right area. So if you just select one of these and then pull the slider across. So something like that, that looks really good. Now I'm just going to give you the, the QR codes for the color. So the hashtag FF0000 is for the red. So that's that. And if I go to the black, that's just 0000. So those are the colors I'm going to be using for the gradient map. And now what you're going to do is click OK for this. And then you're just going to clip and mask that to that that page. Now the next thing you do is add an image of the PSG stadium within the background. So I'm going to go get that and I'll be right back. OK, guys, welcome back. I've got my image. Now this is going to be in the textures panel under images. So if you download that, which the link will be in the description, you'll have this image. So once you've dropped it in, what you need to do is go down to here and then you're just going to go down through the blending modes and look which one makes the best option. So what I have chosen to use is lighter color. So you can choose differently if you want it to look different than mine. But if you want it to look exactly the same, then use lighter color. And then what you're going to do is just reduce the opacity down to about 70%. So now we've got our background prepared. All we need to do now is add some particle layers in, which are going to add some nice texture over the background. So moving on. Okay, guys, welcome back. So what you're going to be given is this image here so I'm going to name this particles one so this is the one you're going to need to choose oh, I spelled that wrong but oh well um, that's the one you're going to need to choose and then we're going to go to a option called uh, polar coordinates so if you go to filter distort and then go to polar coordinates you'll get this option now if you can you can zoom out a bit so it's not going to be full uh, like a full shape um, but that's sort of what we what we're looking for at the moment guys so if you just click OK, as you can see, it goes quite nice, like something like that. So what we're going to do now is use a an, an effect called wind. So if I can just find that again, um, which is on stylize. Yeah. So if you go to filter, stylize, and then go to wind. So what we're going to do is you're going to be presented with this menu. So we're going to choose this method wind and then from the right so we're going to click ok and then we're just going to go to filter and then click wind again so if we do that three times that looks good now what we're going to do is make sure we change this to subtract on our blending options so if you go down on your blending options to subtract 
Now you can see we've got quite a nice texture there. And then we're just going to click subtract and then 62%. So around 62%. That looks good. Now we can increase the size if you want, if you want it in certain areas, or you can turn it on its side. It, it's definitely personal preference, this one. Uh, so something like that, that, that works nicely. So as you can see, we've got the texture over the top. And next thing I'm gonna do is add another texture, which I'm gonna drag and drop in now, and then I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I've dropped in the next texture. Now this one's called Metal. All you need to do with this is change the blending options and reduce the opacity. So if we go to blending options and then we're going to do, go down to something like soft light, click that and then we're just going to reduce the quality of it or the opacity to 70%. Basically we have prepared our background so we're pretty much nearly there now for the, uh, the background. Next thing we're going to do is write some type out to overlay the background. So what we're going to need to do is get our type tool and just click any way you want and then just type out Neymar. Now you're gonna want this to be white and we're gonna increase the size to about, about uh, 170, something like that. 173, that should do. And then we're just gonna position it in the middle of the page. So like that. And then what we're gonna do is position, once we've positioned it, we're gonna drag it down and we're gonna create a nice overlay for the whole image. So we're going to do this multiple times until it covers the whole page. And you can do this as much as you want and you don't have to have even gaps. You can do whatever you want, guys. So then I'm going to select that and then I'm going to group that together. Now I'm going to put Neymar background as the name. And now what we're going to do is change this to an outline stroke. So what we're going to need to do is reduce the fill to zero. And then we're going to double click on this layer and then click stroke. Now we've got our stroke. We've got it about four. You can change it to probably five. That looks good. And then if you want to, you can reduce the opacity of this. But I think that looks pretty good. So I'm going to move on with this. So moving on, I'm just going to reduce the opacity of this down to 50% because I did do that on the previous design and it is a bit strong. Reduce that to 50%, you're all done. Now I'm going to drop some lines layers in. So I'll be, I'm just going to go get those and then I'll be right back. These will be in the texture pack that I've given you. Now guys, welcome back. So you're going to have a folder called lines. Now you're just going to drag the folder and drop it into your document. And then you're just going to hold command T and now you can position the lines wherever you see fit. So I'm going to position them somewhere about there. Now they will already have the linear light added to them so you don't need to change that. You just need to drag and drop them in. These are things that you can make yourself with a pen tool or you can just go and find them online and you'll be fine. So that's the lines dropped in. Now we're just going to draw a white circle within the middle of the page. So if you go to your shapes tool and get an ellipse tool, make sure the fill is on white and no stroke. And then we're just going to hold shift and drag out, out into the middle of the page. That looks good to me. So now you just need to position it in the center. Now uh, you, you're going to want it near, fairly near the top. Something like that is good. So make sure it's in the middle of the page, nearish to the top, so it's leaving enough space down the bottom for our second name, our image. So we've got that. Now I need to add some texture to this. So I'm going to go drag the texture in and clip and mask it to this circle. And I'll tell you which one it is so you know which one it is. So I'll do that now. Okay, guys, so this is going to be the texture we're going to need. So I'm going to put black and white. This is what you need for this one. And then we're just going to clipping mask this to the circle like so. So that's that done. Now we just need to add a gradient map and clipping mask that to it as well. So go to your gradient map, clipping mask that to the circle. Then I'm going to scroll down and select the one I've already made. So it's going to be a blue. It's just going to be a solid blue. So I'll tell you the color of the blue. 66FF. So that's the color. Just solid blue. And then what we're going to do is change this, the blending options, to different. And then it gives us this really nice yellow and blue effect. So we've got that now. Now you can reduce the opacity of this, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave it as it is. So that's the circle. So I'm going to group these together so I don't get confused. And I'm going to probably group the bottom bit together to make it the background. We've kept this all quite nice and neat so far. I'm just going to change the colors of these so I know what I'm working on. So I've got the circle. Now what I'm going to do is probably add a drop shadow to the circle. So if I go down into my circle layer and then click, double click on the circle, Click drop shadow. Now you don't need this to be too harsh. You can reduce the opacity if you want. I'm going to put mine at about 38%, size about 49, and that should be fine. So I'm going to click OK, and that's our drop shadow done. So now what we're going to need to do is probably add in an image of Neymar and make sure you clipped to the circle layer. Okay, guys, so I'm just going to drop in an image that I used on the previous one. Now this is called particles. I'm just going to drop it in, and it's going to layer up above the, uh, the circle image. So once it loads up, um, it's going to add a nice texture to this circles as you can see there. So 
what I need to do is clip and mask it to the circle so it doesn't affect any more of the design. And now as you can see, it's leaving this nice black dark pix pixeled effect on the circle. So now I've got that done. Now we need to move on to adding the Neymar image in. So I'm going to go drop those two images in now and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I've got my Neymar image. Now I'm going to drop this, oh actually I'm going to make this a bit smaller. You want it fairly big so he covers up most of the circle. And now what we're going to do is go back into our circle layers and we're just going to select the circle and then we're going to right click and go rasterize layer. So now we've got that, we can load this as a selection. So go up to select, load selection and then click OK. And now what we're going to do is select our image and we're just going to click layer mask. And as you can see, he has gone straight into the circle. Now that looks really good. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. So we've got that done. And now what we're going to do is create a little platform for our second name our image to sit on. So what we're going to do now is select a new layer above that image. And we're going to get our paintbrush tool. And we're just going to try and find a brush that will work. So I'm going to use the free painter brushes. So I'll leave a link in the description for you guys. And then what we're going to do is come to our brush size. And we're just going to make it really thin so it's flat. As you can see, if I made a... If I increase the flow and make it a white, you will be able to see it looks like a platform. So that's what I'm going for. So now I just need to reduce the size of it, something like that. And then you can build up your own platform for him to kneel on. So something like so, uh, just something like that. It's pretty simple to be honest. And then we're just going to turn our new layer on. And then as you can see, he'll sit real nicely on top of that. Uh, there we go. So I'm just going to click below him a new layer again. So this time I'm going to get another paintbrush, but I'm going to change my color to black. And I'm just going to basically use a small thin brush. Um, and I'm just going to create some shadow in for him to, to look like he's sitting on it. Like so. Just something like that. Just adds that extra element for you. So if you change that to multiply on the blending modes. And then reduce the opacity a bit just so it doesn't look too harsh but you can keep it quite strong actually so about 80% and you can you can build this up as you go along so we've got our two images dropped in they look really good now the next thing we're going to do is probably add in a grunge texture around the edges so I'm going to drop that image in now for you guys I'll be right back right guys so I've got the image now as you can see there's a bit in here that says copyrighted so you don't need to worry about that I'm just going to click layer mask and I'm just going to remove the bit that they don't want you to use so if you select a big soft brush and then increase the size something like like that that should be good and then we're just going to paste out the middle like so something like that that looks good now you can go back and paste in some of the white if you want the white around the edges because you probably are going to need that so zoom out and just paste in the bits that you want so a bit like that that looks good and then what I'm going to do is change this to lighter color so like that and I'm just going to reduce the size so it, so it covers all of the edges like so that looks really good as you can see they'd never know which image it was because it's completely different to what we used so that's the texture done now what we're going to do is probably add in a Neymar uh, bit of font along the bottom for you guys so if you carry on watching I'll show you how to do that so what we're going to need to do is zoom in and now we're going to just get our text tool impact and we're going to make sure that we don't mess with that background layer so just to make sure we don't select that one I'm just going to select the background layer and then I'm going to lock it so now I can just type should be able to type wherever I want uh, maybe not because it keeps selecting it so just turn that layer off for now and then we'll just type now so if we go Neymar make sure you've got the caps lock on so once you've typed that out you're going to just change the size of it so we're going to put this down to about 24 something like that yeah that looks good and then we're just going to get this and we're going to place it on the edge of the screen there's going to be a few things you're going to have to do here guys so you're going to have to probably lock quite a few layers so if you lock that one or turn it off for now just so you can see what you're doing and then duplicate this it will just make your life a lot easier um, and then all you need to do is do the same thing as we did with the background at the start so uh, basically highlight all these and then we're just going to select them and do the same again and now what we're going to do here do the same again and then again and there we go now I've got this nice little uh, background layer for us so we're just going to select all that group it all together bottom text name it so you know what it is turn that back on 
there we go now all we need to do is probably change it to a maybe you could probably leave it like that actually now what we're going to do is uh, put a name art along the top of the design and then we should be done so moving on right so moving on we're just going to write name art again a lot of name art writing going on and then we're just going to make it real big like we did before and we're just going to put it along the top so something like that now we can move this below that image so you can see him uh, and then we're just going to probably add this texture that I found so I'm just going to clip and mask this to the, um, the, the, te the text so you can see it and then we're just going to go down clip and mask that's all good and then we're just going to add a drop shadow to the text so you can see it better and then again with the bottom text we're going to add a drop shadow as well so it all comes a little bit more visible and don't forget to turn your background layer on as well otherwise that will just not look right so basically we've built up the whole design now so the last thing you need to do is add a paper texture over the top and we're going to use a camera or filter obviously so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and find the paper texture and I'll be right back okay guys welcome back I've just loaded up this paper texture now you're just going to need to basically overlay it again just make it as big as the page is then click multiply something like that that looks good make sure it's not over his face so it doesn't ruin the tip paper on his face so if you layer mask it get a brush make it quite small and just make sure it's not covering his face because you don't want that um, and obviously make sure you got a black color otherwise it won't work something like that that looks good now what we're going to do is use the camera or filter to basically bring this image to life so if you select everything you've got and then just click group so now we need to make a snapshot so if you go command shift option E that will take a picture of just this bit that we've done so far and then we're going to go filter camera or filter and as you can see we've got our camera or filter here if we go to basic we're just going to increase the blues and the pinks exposure you want to bring that up and then the contrast obviously so that looks a lot better highlights you can increase shadows definitely you want to darken a little bit so it's sort of just trial and error at this point increase texture definitely because that is a major part of this design clarity you want to increase dehaze a little bit vibrance you can bring up to about 40 percent saturation probably about 20 so this is looking good so far now we're going to go down to the curve so you can obviously bring out different parts of this of the image if you want uh, and play around with different elements so I, i'm not really liking the too much shadow on the inside here so i'm going to change it a little bit and then we're going to go to like red and then we're going to increase the blues maybe uh, bring a little bit more red into the design and then we're going to go to our blues down here darken them up a bit so it just makes it all stand out a little bit more then we're going to go to detail and sharpening you want to bring the sharpening up a lot just so you can make the image look really crisp and professional color noise reduction bring down a little bit each and then we're going to go to our color mixer bring the reds out a bit more and then make the blues maybe a bit lighter something like that that looks really good um, again you can go down to effects and then increase the grain a little bit this sort of makes all the elements come together as one and then you're going to add a little vignette in so that looks really cool and now what we're going to do is probably play around with the saturation of the blue darken it up a little bit if we get our side to side view that is what we had before and this is what it's changed to i think that looks really good myself i hope you guys have enjoyed this video because it was a long awaited one, a lot of you asked me for it as soon as I made it, but I just I just couldn't find the time to make it, but now I have. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. So if I click OK now and the camera will filter, really nice image. So obviously you guys, I'll leave the textures in the bottom so you know what to use. And the font is impact, so I'll leave a link to that in the description below. And the brushes I've used, all that will be in the links below. Um, I'll leave my social medias below. Make sure you follow the Instagram because that's going to be where we're uploading most of our videos, uh, our images now. So you guys will get a preview of what's going to be in the next tutorial. Uh, and yeah, hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have any comments you'd like to leave, just leave them below and I'll get back to you. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.